We're back! Yay! Let's get it. Alright. We're playing the Raven. And it's so much fun. Alright, so here's our Cosmo. I don't remember his name. Zella? Something like that. And we want to get on the boat. Or we want to, you know, be allowed to get on the boat or whatever. Ooh, go to the young woman's car. Look at Constable, Constable Oliver. Oliver seems to be a little simplistic. But I don't think he's a bad policeman. The way he reacted in the tunnel and got the train moving. Hats off. Hmm. Hello, Constable Olivier. It's Oliver. I just wanted to say that you did a good job in the tunnel. Hmm, thanks. How did you know how to get the train moving? I come from a family of miners, and my uncle is an engine driver down the mine. I see. And you looked over his shoulder? Yeah, best way to learn. Did Legrand tell you about his theory? That it could be the real Raven? Of course he did. We're partners. But the modus operandi doesn't fit at all. The Raven wasn't a bomber. We have the letter. And the feather. That's his symbol. Anyone can put a feather in an envelope. You would know. What's that supposed to mean? It was you. What was me? You put the envelope on the safe. To blow myself up? You threw the bomb away, and now you're the famous hero, right? And the Raven must have paid you pretty well. That is ridiculous. Is it? Only you and I and Legrand were in the freight car. One of us must have put the envelope on the safe. Legrand didn't. And I didn't think about it. You are way more suspicious, dude. I'll be marching up this gangway today, no matter what. Someone has to stop that damn bomber before he endangers more people. I don't think we should try boarding the ship. I really don't. Oh, look at the crane. In my younger years, I might have considered abseiling from the crane down to the ship. But those days are long past. Yeah, probably. The sea is quiet today. Ideal conditions for a cruise. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to see the sights in Venice. Paperwork served up by my Italian colleagues took up most of the day. Cool. All right, car. Fine car, but nothing compared to the young lady who owns it. Who could she be? An actress? A millionaire's daughter? She's certainly attracting a lot of attention. Amazing how much luggage there is for so few passengers. And I'd guess that three quarters of it belongs to the women. <laughs> I'll take an inconspicuous look up close. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting anyone to be crawling around on the ground in front of my door. Don't worry about it, miss. No harm done. Oh, that's good to hear, Mr... Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. May I ask your name? Patricia Mayers. Are you American? I am. Cool. Um, could you help me, please? Uh, certainly. Um, she's just giving her luggage to a stranger? Are you on your way to Egypt? Yes. Are you on holiday? My father works for a railroad company there. And is rebuilding the country after the war. Wonderful. Yes, wonderful. She isn't one more too exalted. You're lucky to have a father who takes you to so many interesting places. Oh, yes. Lucky me. Aren't you interested in Egypt? The pyramids? The history? 
I would have been more interested in a father who doesn't travel 300 days a year. <laughs> I'm sure your father regrets that he can't always be with you. No doubt. And I'm sure he always wanted the best for me. But that doesn't stop him from thinking only about himself far too often. That's probably true. Bring my luggage on board, please. Excuse me? It was a pleasure meeting you, Constable Zellner. Impertinent. Yes, very. <laughs> um... Oh, Dr. Gerhardt. Hmm. Is the doctor afraid to board the ship? Gebhardt. Sorry. Hello, Dr. Gebhardt. Ah, the hero of the hour. The hero of the hour, but out of work soon. Oh, you won't be a policeman anymore? Yes, but on my old beat, which is almost as good as being out of work. <laughs> I understand. Is your new job bothering you? On the contrary. I wasn't sure whether I made the right decision until now. I'm from the Black Forest, you know. There are only mountains there. <laughs> no ships. But now... <sighs> the salty breeze. The atmosphere. I think I want to stay at sea forever. The sea is one thing, the passengers are another. <laughs> it will be okay. Have you already met the captain? Mario Di Conti. Heard of him? Should I have? He is something of a star in Italy. A war hero. In the First World War, when he was a young man, he sank more enemy ships than anyone else. In the Second World War, well, he had some you know, personal problems. You mean like the ones you buy in bottles and pillboxes? Mm, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> anyway, sending him into combat was out of the question. They gave him a supply ship instead, and he became a hero again. His ship, part of a convoy from Palermo to North Africa, was the only one that made it with an extra 100 seamen who he rescued from the other ships. Impressive. To say his health is rather shaky these days would be an understatement. I think most of my time on board will be spent dealing with his numerous ailments. Aww. What do you know about the Baroness? Mm, nothing really. Did you talk to her in the tunnel? No. Her butler was looking after her, and I was busy with Miss Miller. As you can imagine, it was a shock for her to see her son rolling away on a burning train. That's understandable. So, we were all glad when we heard about your brave deed. Well, there's nothing left for me to do but to wish you a good trip. Oh, you are not coming with us? Unfortunately, no. I'm to go back to Zurich. What a pity. Take care, Dr. Gebhardt. Keep an eye on the other passengers. Yeah, especially him. Oh, I just remembered. We found these in the tunnel. Are they <gasps> yours? I'm yes, afraid so. they are. Strophantine. Do you have heart problems? Hmm. Maybe it's for the best that you're not coming along. Too much excitement could be bad for your health. You mean, if I don't do anything, I'll probably have a few more years to live? That's right. Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Dude. You could at least keep your medicine. It wouldn't bother you to keep your medicine. James! James! Where on earth are you? Hello, Baroness. Ah, Inspector. Constable. Poppycock. You won't be a constable much longer. When they find out how you rescued that little boy, they'll have to promote you to Inspector. Very kind of you to say so, Baroness. 
I hope you survived the adventure in the tunnel unharmed. Scandalous! You book a first-class cabin, and then you're walking on the rails. <laughs> they wanted to bundle me off in a bus without my luggage. The circumstances, madam. I insisted on a limousine and didn't leave until all my luggage was recovered. <laughs> Did you know that the real Eye of the Sphinx wasn't even on the train? I had no idea. Inspector Legrand seems to prefer to keep me in the dark, although I'm the one paying for all of this. The Inspector is ensuring the safety of the Eye. Well, obviously. All the same, it was you who did the real work on the train. Well... Mm. I Thanks. hope that the remainder of your trip to Cairo will be less stressful. You aren't coming with us. I'm afraid Inspector Legrand doesn't want my company. Fiddle faddle! You <laughs> found my purse while he just sat on some boxes, uh, guarding the bomb that nearly killed us all. I want you to come with us. I'd like that as well, but... I'll speak to the captain and bear the costs. <gasps> Baroness, I don't know... No, no trouble. I'll see to it. Ta-da! Now, where's my damn butler? James, there you are. Is the inspector to carry my luggage onto the ship all by himself? Wait, am I helping? Uh, well, actually... <gasps> Baroness? Whoa. Baroness, can you hear me? She fainted. No. No. Baroness? Again, harder. Hello. Can you hear me? I... Help she me She saw someone. Uh, perhaps we should... <gasps> no. It's the King Games logo over here. King Games logo. I did Dr. Gebhardt. No, 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 Doctor. Just a little moment of weakness. Your arm, James. Take me to the ship. But of course, madam. Okay, she saw someone. That was no moment of weakness? She saw something that shocked her. <laughs> Or someone. Very interesting. I'm going with someone. Especially since she doesn't want to admit it. Who or what did she see? Hmm. Neither of them seems to have noticed what happened down here. You'll have a tough time with her. <laughs> How does one get aboard without a ticket? Hmm. Not brilliant, but it's a possibility. But I thought she was going to fix it. Wasn't she? The Baroness, right? No? Okay. Oh, we can't see the crane anymore? Oh, yes, we can actually. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess board the ship? Or something? I don't know. The Baroness was gonna pay. Was she? Maybe? Oh, who do we have here? Signore. This is Constable Anton Zellner. Signore Zellner, I heard about your feats in the mountains. Welcome aboard the MS Lydia. Thank you, Captain. I didn't know you'd be taking part in the journey, but I'm glad to have you with us. I'll have a nice cabin prepared for you immediately. The constable will not be joining us. He has other duties. Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to hear about his adventures from the man himself. I'd like to accept your offer. But, unfortunately, higher powers prevent it. I am sorry to hear that. We are by no means full, and have plenty of room for one more passenger. The constable just wants to have a quick look around and then leave before we set sail. When will that be? Oh, uh, in about uh, 15 minutes. There you have it, constable. May I ask how to get to the cargo hold? 
No, signori. There are much nicer places on board. But I'm interested in the cargo hold. Why is that? One of the trunks seems suspicious to me. Someone could be hidden in it. You? <laughs> you want to imply that the most brilliant and probably richest thief in all of Europe is stowing away in a trunk? That's not his style. That's what makes it more likely that it's not him, but a copycat who's behind all this. And a copycat's style might include doing whatever it takes. Like hiding in a trunk if they've lost the ticket. Mm -hmm. Oh, come now. Actually, it would be possible for a registered passenger to board the ship without a ticket. What do you mean? You can't buy a ticket for the Lydia at the counter. You book the trip in advance. We know the names of all the passengers. As long as a passenger is on the guest list, we let them board the ship. Doesn't matter if they have a ticket or not. And did any of the passengers board without a ticket? I couldn't say. We ask for a name and check it on the list. The tickets are no more than souvenirs for the passengers. So much for oh. your trunk theory. Regardless of what you say, I would still like to examine the cargo hold. All right then, if you like. But we'll meet here again in ten minutes. Captain De Conti, before we depart, I'd like to send two telegrams. Certainly, Inspector. The cargo hold is over there. You can enter through a door on the forecastle. The horn will sound twice, five minutes before we set off. That's the signal for all the dock workers to leave the ship. Understood, Captain. Follow me to the bridge. You can send your telegrams from there. No, I wanted to say the burners had invited my me. My time is running out. If I don't find anything in the cargo hold, my cruise will be over before it even begins. Maybe I should have... Oops. Maybe I should oh, have... Oh, no. Hmm. That's the young woman's cabriolet. Apparently, they absolutely had to take it to Egypt. At daddy's expense, of course. Uh, yep. Go into the dark. Examine the cylindrical object. Oh, what's this? Oh. Aha. This is a flashy lighty. Oh, search the locker. Cool. The door to this locker is ajar. Empty. Hmm. The left three lockers are locked. Alright, let's go into the dark then. With our flashlight. Oh, here we go. Here, examine the chest. <clears throat> Hello? Come on out. The game's up. I... I'm opening the trunk. <gasps> it's empty. He Hello? I'm sure someone was in the trunk, but where are they now? Good question. Just got a lot darker here. The shards are... Phew. I startled too easily. Are you sure? <gasps> Crud. Ooh, damn. <sighs> Um... 
No. Uh. Wow. Okay. Uh. So I did not expect this. <laughs> How do we... Oh, crud. Here, pull the cloth. <laughs> oh! Use the flat iron with... Open the grate! <laughs> wow, so much not expected <laughs> stuff in this game! <laughs> I th cut through the fetters with the saw. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ow. Okay. Now we've got our feet. Use the crane controls. It would be best if no one found out about this. New pictures unlocked. Oh yeah, I checked. We have the extras with all the... It's like concept art and stuff. Now there's lights on here or something. Summon the book hand. I can make out a corridor, but no details. The glass is too dirty and there's no light in there. It's no use. The door seems to be locked from the other side. Alright. See if there's anything here we can do. I don't think so. Alright. Are we stuck down here? Or like, what's up? There's some blood and hair stuck to the pipe. Hair I really can't afford to lose. <laughs> Aww. I'll hold it on the blood spattered end. After all, we already know who the victim is. Yeah. Detention cell for crew members? Or maybe for rowdy passengers? Something like that, probably. Oh, right, yeah, examine the lockers again. The cargo hold seems to be used as a changing room for the crew as well. Or at least the part of the crew that doesn't do their work in white suits. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's something. There we go. The shot hit this crate. The question is. Was the gunman actually trying to hit it? And if so, why? Maybe the gunman just wanted to intimidate me. I can't imagine a more effective warning. It's too dark to make out anything inside the hole. Uh, I should take a closer look later. Dude just totally disappeared. I have no idea what happened. A chair is the last thing I need right now. I was sitting long enough over there in the corner. <laughs> no chair comments! No! Alright, let's see what the journal says. Um, 
stowaway. According to Legrand, the safe transporting of the Eye of the Sphinx to Cairo is secured by three locks, blah blah blah. Gunshot. A stowaway managed to well, to well stow away in a chest of clothing aboard the Lydia and then knocked me out. But who is he? The Raven? One of the Raven's accomplices? Or someone else entirely? Someone fired a gun in the hold. Who fired? Who were they aiming at and why? All questions I cannot answer. Let's go upstairs with the pipe in our hand. Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. That is kind of bad. Uh, I don't know where that was written down, but... Dr. Gebhardt uh, seems to have high hopes for his new job, his new life, really, and he advised me to take it easy. If I take care of myself, my heart will keep up for a few more years. But would that be any way to spend my last years? Probably not what you want. Alright, I don't know what it wrote. Oh, maybe secret? Wait, secret. Yeah, I want to check my secrets. Uh, someone seems to have shot at a crate. I think the bullet is still stuck in the wood, but I can't pry it out with my fingers. I can't open the door with my bare hands. Maybe I can make a tool of some sort. No, I don't mean that. Whoever locked the door. Stronger than you. Uh, okay. Go downstairs. Upstairs. And I meant to do this. Open the door over the pipe. I should be careful. The gunman may still be nearby. Yay! You up to Zelna? I wanted to determine whether the gun had been fired recently, Inspector. I mean, what are you doing on the ship? I was jumped in the cargo hold. Of course you were. Here, look. Careful how you hold it. There could be fingerprints on the end. Surely you don't expect me to believe you. They didn't just knock me out, they shot at me as well. Someone shot at you while you were unconscious? Our mysterious guest doesn't just like to travel in chests of clothes, he's also the worst marksman in the world. Seems he wasn't aiming at me. And maybe it was a different man who fired the shot. Ridiculous. You wanted to come along, orders be damned, and so you found a way to stay here. Dude, I the should Baroness throw told you me. overboard. I would have dreamed up something less painful. Hmm, true. That doesn't look good. See? And there's a bullet wedged in a wooden crate down there. I don't have a gun. The doctor should have a look at it. Yeah, Come I don't with think me. He would, like, knock himself out. I wonder if this would be different if I had uh, said it the Baroness. You know. Inspector Legrand and Constable Zelna. So you have decided to join us on our journey after all. So it would seem. We are searching for Dr. Gebhardt. I'm j just fine, Captain Conti. <laughs> the Conti. I'm in control. <laughs> I can manage. Uh -huh. Tell James he ups. Absolutely must wake me at a quarter to ten. Certainly, madam. Absolutely. I shall see that he does. And now, I shall return to my chambers. 
You'll be in the bar tonight at ten, Inspector. If that's what you wish. It will be spectacular. I promise. Okay. Okay. The fresh sea air and perhaps a glass of champagne to many. But I'm glad that you decided to join us on our journey to Cairo. Not quite voluntarily. So he says. I was jumped. From behind. But... no. That... that is... Dr. Gephardt should have a look at him, Captain De Conti. Of course. Please, have a seat in the saloon, Constable Zelna. I'll summon the doctor. I wonder what ah, a... Doctor, what there you are. Our brave Constable thing. Zelna was attacked. Struck on the head. Oh. Sit down, please. Now, please, tell me exactly what happened. I think you've got a stowaway on board. I was jumped. Intolerable. I'll have the crew search every nook and cranny of the ship. And of course, Mr. Zelna, you are cordially invited to travel as our special guest. Good to know that at least one man doesn't want to throw me overboard. Is it bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. I spoke with Dr. Gebhardt. He suffered a violent blow to the back of the head. I cannot really say how bad it is. But I can. It really hurts. Where are we? And, and what time is it? I must have been out for ages. It's just after 8 p.m. You just missed dinner. But we'll all meet here in the saloon at 10 o'clock to have a drink together. Greeting the passengers personally is a tradition I will not break, even on this unusual journey. How many fingers do you see? <laughs> what fingers? Um, well, I see three and I see five fingers. I don't know what you mean, but I guess three. Three fingers. Okay. Why didn't anyone come looking for me? Didn't anyone notice that I didn't come back from the cargo hold? We did search for you, but we couldn't find you. Who was supposed to search the cargo hold? Constable Oliver. I'll have a talk with him about that later. I should hope so. You're all right now, Constable. The bleeding has stopped, and the wound looks good. You may have a mild concussion. You just need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, your only worries will be a headache and an impressive bump. Ooh, what happened if I should have said five fingers? <gasps> Thanks. Don't drink alcohol, That's a good dude. enough reason to celebrate. Enough about crooks and thieves. From now on, you can start to enjoy your free cruise. Ah, well... Don't know. Uh, uh, Inspector! What? A dark shadow. Upper deck, just now. Go, let's have a look. I I'll join you. Me too. You no, know. you stay here. Do you want to make this an argument? <laughs> Robert, go to the Baroness and don't let her out of your sight. Zellner, you're coming to the port side. Doctor, you go to starboard. I'll start at the forecastle and work my way back to the two of you. Understood? But... Baroness von Trebitz! Hello? Baroness von Trebitz? Open the door! She might be out from the alcohol, so, like, yeah. Dr. Gebhardt insisted on coming along, but now he doesn't seem to be sure if that was a good idea. Uh, well, I do think, though, that this might be a good idea to take a break, if I can manage to actually get the, <laughs> um... I kind of almost want to replay just to see what happens if you say that the Baroness has said you can come along. On the other hand, I mean, how much can they change the story? Like, would it make much difference? Or would he just say, like, I don't care? Or, you know, you I mean, we would want to go down to the cargo hold anyhow, right? So, 
Um, trap the stone. Let's do that. Okay. So, oh, we're done for this time with the raven. Um, yeah, awesome. We're on, we're on a cruise. This is great. I love the atmosphere in this game. It's so great. So great. So, yeah. Oh, I hope you all are enjoying it too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.